find the sum of this huge monstrosity. It starts with negative 82, then you take away 80, then you take away 78, and there's a pattern to that all the way up until when you're adding 64 and adding 66. What you'll notice is that these numbers make up an arithmetic sequence in that negative 82, add 2, add 2, add 2 to get to the next term. And if you're adding up all the terms of an arithmetic sequence, all you need to do is use the formula for an arithmetic series. Now there are two formulas for that, where s is the sum of the numbers in the series. You can use n over 2 times a plus tn, where this is the final term in your sum, or you can use n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Doesn't matter, your choice. I'm going to use the first one, but in any of the cases, we need to know what n is for that last term. To do that, we need to use the formula for an arithmetic sequence. That's t of n equals a plus n minus 1 times d. We know that we're looking for n when t is 66. We know the first term is negative 82. We don't know n, and d, the amount it's going up by each time, the common difference, is 2. How do you solve for n? Well, you move the 82 to the other side. You add 82 to the left side. How do you undo this multiplication by 2? You divide both sides by 2. It'll cancel out. And how do you undo subtraction of 1? You add 1 to the other side. So we're adding up the total of 75 different terms here. But luckily for us, now we can plug it in. We can find the sum of the first 75 terms. It's 75 divided by 2 times the first term, negative 82, plus the final term, 66. Again, you could have used this. You plug in 75 for n, plug in negative 82 for a, and plug in 2 for d, just like you did here. I'm going to do this on my calculator because I can't do that little bit in my head. Let's make it so you can see what I'm typing. 75 divided by 2 times negative 82 plus 66. Negative 600. The sum of the terms in this huge sum, this sum of 75 different terms, turns out to be negative 600. Tricks to finding the sum of a sequence when you're given the final term is to solve for n using the formula for an arithmetic sequence and using that n in the series formula, either one of these. Best of luck.